good accountant. What's the problem? The pub has a horse fly, and none of us can get a drink until it's gone. Just a fly? That shouldn't take long. Remus is in there trying to get rid of it. Huh. Well, there goes my afternoon drink. Well, I'm glad that we're getting rid of it. All right, Liam, this is it. Hours of aimless swatting, and we finally have it backed into a corner. If we can find a way to distract it, I can take it down. I'm on it, Remus. This bed rope could be useful if I can find a way to untie it. This bed rope could be useful if I can... Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to get this thing. Ah, it's too quick. We need to find a way to distract it. A straight razor. This could come in handy. Oh, what a stench! If only I had some rope! Then this fly... Well, that's one way to untie a knot. Great work, Liam! Now we just need to distract the fly so I can lasso him! Liam, look around! A successful extermination with minimal damage! Do you know what this means? Remus exclaimed as he realized this was a first A ballad of a successful job without a negative verse Thank you, that was the Ballad of Remus and the Giant Horsefly Well, there you have it, folks A perfectly executed extermination job I know, you never thought the day would come But it has, and it's glorious Now please, don't everyone crowd me at once I have enough wind in me to spin a thousand tales of my greatness. What? Today, Grappa, we have places to be. Bart, what did you think of my new ballad? Probably the best you've heard, right? Ballad? Sorry, Remus, I didn't hear any of it. We've all been standing here waiting for our drinks. W was it the one about the time you slayed the mighty sugar dragon and saved the town from the plague of cavities? What? No, that was my brother Remus. Oh yeah, what a great ballad. Now there's a real hero. <laughs> How is your brother anyway? I don't know, we're not on speaking terms. But lend me your ear for just a moment and I know my ballad won't disappoint. Well, if Grappa would get off his lazy behind and serve some beverages, maybe we could have a listen. <sighs> get off my back. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I don't blame you. I could barely settle down either after such an enormous victory. You guys did hear about my victory, right? Hey, Liam, play the song again. No, I didn't sleep because you ruined my bed. A small price to pay for a pest-free home, am I right? Right? I'm sorry, everyone. Until I get some real sleep, I'm going to have to shut down the pub. <laughs> Well, if you guys want, we can gather outside and listen to my ballad. I mean, it does sound better in here with the acoustics, but the outdoors might give it extra mood and bravado. You best not be showing your face around here until we can get some beverages. We have to repair Grappa's bed. This song is too good not to be heard by a captive drunken audience. To the market, Liam! I think we have just enough money from that extermination job to buy Grappa some new bed rope. Excuse me, Ty. I'd like a length of your finest rope. Take your number, man. Ty, I don't know if you heard, but Grappa is too tired to serve drinks. I won't bore you with the details, but let's just say it's urgent we get some rope. We've got bigger problems than drinks, man. A pair of thieving lovebirds have stolen all the rope in town. Now I'm working overtime to keep up with the demand. So you're just gonna have to take a number. Tragic, really. My heart breaks, but I think my crisis takes precedence over some pesky birds. How about it? Hey, man, just take a... Number. Okay, I get it. I'll take a number. Patience is just one of my many virtues. How long could the wait be, anyway? I've been waiting for about two. 
Hours? Well, that's not so bad. I suppose we could spare a bit of time. No, months. What? Okay, Liam, we need to cut in line. I don't know, Remus. The only way that will happen is if we get rid of every person here. I like that plan, Liam. Let's do that. <sighs> All right. It's a wanted poster looking for two lovebirds guilty of property theft. I'd love to get my hands on those birds. They stole my best rope. Now I can't hang any of my fresh meat, and the rats keep taking it. I swear, Liam, that monkey is mocking me with his numbers. It's a disaster! Those thieving birds took the rope out of all my sacks! Now my mill is covered in flour. I'm so busy cleaning that I'm way behind on my milling. I have stacks and stacks of empty flour bags and nothing to fill them. What a nightmare. Those birds stole my rope. Now I have nothing to keep my flour stacks closed and it all blew away. You got your number, man. Now wait your turn. Don't get too close, Liam. There's dirt everywhere. Are you sure that's dirt? Yeesh. Here for the gossip and rumors? Pick your person and ponder my poisonous poems. With his ginger mane and killer stare, Ludzo really is quite splendid. I'll stop the song right there because he's easily offended. Beautiful song, Bard. Keep it that way. Here for the gossip and rumors? Take a visit to the mill. You'll see that it's spotless clean. It's not for Hobbs' love of milling, but because Mud makes him scream. I'll have you know it's a valid psychiatric condition called germophobia. Here for the gossip... The finest work in all the land. Ty's ropes are quite rare. Not only does it take him months, he weaves them with his hair. Here for the gossip and rumors? Pick your person. Pon Breads, muffins, and pies. Oswald's fearless with his baking. He'd be the bravest man in town if birds didn't leave him shaking. I can't help it. I just don't trust them in their beady little eyes. They're up to no good, I tell you. Here for the gossip and rumors? The killer of bugs, destroyer of homes, Remus is like no other. But if you want a quality hero, I suggest you find his brother. Ouch. I can tell by that jacket and well-groomed facial hair that you are a man of fashionable taste. Can I interest you in one of my fine metrosexual scarves? A bargain at two coins. Uh, I'll pass. They're nothing but flying rats, always scrounging for whatever scraps they can find. Puny ants trying to overtake the town. Ha! Not on my watch. Welcome to Leopold's House of Water. Can I interest you in a bottle of 100% pure spring water hauled directly from my well to this semi-clean bottle by my very own hands? All for the low introductory offer of one coin. Couldn't I just haul up a bucket myself and drink it? Yes, but this new invention allows you to walk around and drink any time your thirst beckons. Huh, that'll never catch on. Did I mention our 100% deposit return on the bottle? So I buy the bottle, drink the water, and get my money back? You heard correct, fine sir. Now that's a deal I can get behind. An immaculate well. I can see a crystal clear pool of spring water at the bottom. Psst! Are you talking to me? Hey, could you help us out? We're in need of some rope. 
Me too. Get in line behind me. We can't buy it ourselves. We're, uh, underage. Underage? Wait a minute, aren't you the birds from the poster? Wanted for multiple thefts of rope? Okay, you got us, but listen, we're lovebirds, like, and we needed all that rope to build our love nest. We only need one more piece to put it all together and we're finished. Then you'll never see us again. Heartbreaking tale, but I have problems of my own right now. Please, we're desperate. We'll give us some dough to help us out, like, but I'm sure it's breadcrumbs compared to your usual rate. These are breadcrumbs. Yes, that's what I said. Forget it. Okay, how about this? You get us rope, and we'll fly you round trip to anywhere you want to go. Tempting, but I don't have anywhere I need to go. Goodbye. Seagulls love breadcrumbs. Hey, watch it. The last thing I want is you attracting birds over here. <laughs> Enjoy the refreshing taste of bottled water. Tell your friends. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to be rich. Here's your coin back. Come again. Brilliant choice. This scarf will light up your eyes like diamonds in the sun and frame your face like an oil painting of a master craftsman. Wow, you think? Um, <clears throat> I mean, actually, this isn't for me. Scarf? No, a shoulder rag for wiping your face during extreme butchering sessions. Ugh, why is it pink? It's not, it's white. It's been soaked in blood. Ah, I like it. Here for the gossip and rumors? Pick your... We never thought we'd see the day when Ludzo brazenly shows That draped across his manly frame are flowery women's clothes. What did you just say, Bard? I'll have you know this is a blood-soaked shoulder rag. Um, are you sure about that? I mean, yes, of course it is. You're absolutely... Oh! You've put me in a murderous rage. Now I have to go blow off some steam by vigorously butchering some random animal carcasses. Goodbye. <laughs> Phew. Finally finished. Rope for number four. Thanks, Ty. You saved my ballad. Hmm. What's all that commotion? I know you're looking at me right now saying, Vic, what is this crazy thing you're lying on? What if I told you this was a bed? Not made of rope, but of water. Handpicked from the swamps of apnea, this water mattress gives the feeling of floating on water while offering up the comfort of 100 ropes. Wow! Liam, that is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. If we could get that for Grappa, he would sleep like a king. With that much rest, he could serve twice as many beverages. Making the audience twice as drunk for your ballad. I'll be beloved! Excuse me, good sir, how much for this mattress of water? I'm so glad you asked! For today only, I'll give you this amazing water mattress for 7,000 easy consecutive payments of just two gold coins! What a bargain! I'm in! Whoa, Remus, we can't afford that! That's 14,000 gold coins! No, it's not. It's 7,000 consecutive payments of two gold coins! Oh. Well, at least we still have this rope. After seeing that mattress, I can't show up to Grappa's with peasant twine. We need to find a way to the Apnea Swamps. The swamps are a three-day journey and nearly impenetrable. 
Unless we grow wings, th there's no way we're going to get there. Hmm. I told you I'd get us there. Yeah, you really know how to use your head, Remus. I'd say grab one that isn't infested with bedbugs, but it doesn't look like that's possible. Maybe we can convince one to give up their mattress. Uh, excuse me, bug? Shut up and go away. Can't you see him trying to sleep? God! Hey, bedbug, listen up. Move to another mattress or else. Or else what? My jaw is powerful enough to bite off your arm. So just try it. Okay, we'll have to go with plan B. Liam, do you have any flammable liquids? Wait a second. I think I know a better way. These bugs have a scary bedtime story about an evil witch that haunts the swamp. Maybe if you can dress up like a witch, we can scare them out of bed. Perfect. I'll head off in search of a scary costume. <laughs> Stupid bedbugs and their goofy children's tales. I wonder if I should have told Remus that the story is actually true. Can't you see him trying to sleep here? Go away! A lung plant. This will help me breathe underwater. The water stings my eyes when I try to open them. I can't see a thing. Ouch! I need to find a way to cool it down before I can take it. Giant maggots can't resist the taste of swamp blister juice. Just saying that out loud makes me gag. A giant water strider. If I could draw its attention away from that giant maggot, maybe I could ride on top of it. That clump of seaweed would make a great witch costume. I just need to find a way to reach it. I better watch my fingers. These little creatures clamp on and never let go. Welcome to my humble lair. Uh-oh, are you going to eat me? Eat you? Do you know how many calories man flesh is? No, you're my new motivational training partner. Well, you've picked the right man. I'm really good at barking orders and yelling. What can I do for you? I'm trying to shrink my love handles with a soup diet. The problem is I can't even bring myself to try any of it. So I'm hoping that by staring at you and fantasizing about sucking the meat off your bones, I'll be able to choke down a bowl. <laughs> uh, normally I'd be happy to help, but I'm right in the middle of an important quest. Don't worry, as soon as this dinner bell rings, we can test my theory. What if it doesn't work? I figure I can just devour you and start my diet after the weekend. Okay, hold tight. I gotta find a way out of here. It's locked. I'm trapped in here. I need to find a way out. I'll be able to see perfectly underwater with this on. Now I'm ready for some underwater exploration. Well, here's the route. Now I just need a way to cut through it. It's a piece of algae. I guess that fish must have missed it. If I want that tooth, I need to find a way past that giant eyeball. I better stay in the shadows where that eye can't see me.
Aquatic gumballs! They're firmly stuck in place. If I want one, I'm going to have to pry it out. He looks hungry. These rocks might come in handy. Ooh, a rare Kino shrimp! <laughs> ah, and a hostile one at that! I can see Remus up there! I can see Liam down there! Oh boy, that really turned up the pressure on those bubbles! Must be out of flavor. I can barely see anything down here. It's so dark now. It's free. Now we just have to convince that bug to leave. A beeswax candle. These things burn forever. This looks like the way out, but that shell is way too heavy to lift. It's a bubbling broth of healthy soup. Too bad it smells like bad breath mixed with cilantro. I better not touch any of these potions without a recipe. There's some loose pages here. Looks like recipes for the 30-day soup diet. Looks like she has all the ingredients to make a variety of soup recipes. All right, time to get mixing. I think I messed up somewhere. I've mixed all the recipes. Now it's time to use them. It's 
full of cookies and a note. I promise to stop sabotaging my own happiness and stick to the diet this month. No more cookies. Signed, The Swamp Witch. Judging by that lock, I'd say willpower isn't one of her strengths. It liquefied the cookie into a sugary oil. Mmm, the sweet smell of baked cookies is in the air. Uh-oh, here comes the witch. I better hide. This soup smells delicious! Blah! You are acidic! I'll let it simmer a bit longer. Delicious! Ah, you are one scary looking creature. If only I could find a way to take you with me. It's perfect! The bed bugs will be terrified! Now I just need a way out of here. Explosions really do solve everything. Bedbugs, prepare to be terrified. Sorry, Bug. You have to vacate this mattress. Oh, yeah? Says who? Says her. Alright, now where are those birds? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, lying on the ocean, without the salty wetness or smell of dead fish. I love it. Why don't you take a quick nap and then we can celebrate with a round of freshly poured beverages and song. Okay, Liam, warm up your singing voice. We'll soon have a captive audience. What are you trying to pull? This bed is full of bugs. I can't sleep on this thing. Oh no, this mattress must have been covered in bugs when we brought it here. No problem. How hard could it be to get rid of a few baby bugs? Okay, that was harder than I thought. The only way to get rid of bed bugs is to attack their comfort level. Huh. <sighs> if only this wonderful bed was hard and uncomfortable. You're right, Liam. We need to fill it with concrete. Sounds extreme, Remus. But I'm sure you know best. Sal, we found ourselves in need of some concrete. Any chance you can lend us your recipe? Ha! Huh. The only way you get my recipe is if you open my brain and siphon the information out. Hmm, unfortunately we don't have a bone saw. There must be another way. Nope. Unless you're a part of this crew, there's no way you're getting my concrete recipe. Okay, then I'd like a job. The positions are all filled. Why don't you fire that guy and hire me? The quality of my mustache alone should prove I'm twice the worker he is. Frank and Hank are my best workers. Unless they violate the rules, you're out of luck. Well, you heard the man, Liam. Let's break some rules. According to this handbook, leaving early and sleeping on the job are zero tolerance offenses. You know what that means? Yes, I wouldn't last a second at this job. If we can find a way to make them violate either of those rules, we'll be fired instantly. Being a bad influence is my specialty. That recipe is as good as mine. There's some fresh soil there. Looks like someone was trying to plant something. The fumes from that choking tree must have stopped them. The fumes are too strong. I can't get anywhere near it. You look tired. Are you sure you don't want a nap? 
Sleeping on a job is a zero tolerance offense. But all that mixing, you must be exhausted. Nope. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, Liam, check peer pressure off the list. We need to get aggressive with this guy. Lord, a halitosis flower. No wonder that guy's wearing a mask. Hey, I'm trying to get a job on the crew. Any tips? Just dig between the flagged pegs. Wow, did you have to go to school for that? Hey, only authorized crew are allowed between the flagged pegs. This one is loose. Ooh, an ice cream cactus. This quest could be epic. We should save this in case we get hungry later. The head popped right off this flower. Hey, only authorized crew are allowed between the flag. Hey, who taught you how to dig? You're clearly missing a spot. Yikes! I don't know how I missed that. A halitosis flower. No wonder that guy's wearing a mask. Wake up! No sleeping on the job! Frank! Wake up! That's it! You're fired! You know, it's been my boyhood dream to be a concrete mixer. All right, you're hired. Here's my recipe. Now get mixing! Okay, I just need to run home for a minute and get on my work clothes. Forget it! You ain't leaving with my recipe. It's a family secret. It stays here. If you so much as step a foot off this site with it, I'll feed you to the hogs. Liam, we may have a problem. I'll do it, Remus. Slip me the recipe. I'll gather the ingredients and get it back before he ever notices. Nice work, Liam. All right, bedbugs. If I can find a way to recreate this recipe, you're in for a concrete nightmare. Excuse me, grimy bear, but are you lost? No, I'm exploring. I'm on an important quest. Okay, well, run along then. You won't find any bear treats here. I'm not looking for bear treats. I'm searching for very specific ingredients. Well, the only thing here is this exquisite clay pot that you could never afford and never truly appreciate. So it's probably best you leave. It. Don't breathe on it. In fact, I'd prefer it if you didn't even stare directly at it. The last thing I need is your dirty paws infesting my pot with flies. Is this free? Are you kidding? That's high-end stewing meat. But it's completely spoiled. Believe me, the taste is totally worth the stomach parasites. Hi, Ludzo. How's the butchering going? Terrible. I've slaughtered, dismembered, and eaten just about every animal in town. I need a new challenge. What's left on your list? I'd really love to taste a seagull. The amount of garbage they eat must really make for a unique flavor. What if I were able to get you one? I'd replace it with my finest meat. That sounds good. Though it looks like all this meat is crawling with insects. Yes, 
That's what makes it the best. I'm sure she won't miss these gaudy wind chimes. Can I have your hourglass? I'm in need of sand. Sorry, I needed to keep track of my working hours. This rope seems pretty flimsy. Don't touch it. If that rope snaps, I'm going to have to wait in line forever to get a new one. with me? Sorry, I'm in the middle of an important quest. I'm getting bored of this magnifying glass. I wish I could just take the ants home with me. Hey, don't touch that. I plan on grinding it into flour once I f finish cleaning. If you're looking for flour, you'll have to come back tomorrow. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the mill. That's a grist mill. It grinds wheat into flour. I better not get too close. By the looks of that millstone, it can crush just about anything. The water is so hypnotic. Think about trying to get ahead of me. When Crocker wakes up, I get the first drink. Poor Grandpa. We need to get him a bed soon. Get your own pickled eggs. These are mine. You're going to eat the whole jar? What? You don't think I can? Want to make a bet? Well... Okay, what are you going to give me if I win? Uh, let me check my inventory. Ooh. Are those gems? Um, actually it's a wit. Deal. If I eat all these eggs, I get those gems. <laughs> I win. Give me those. Here, you can take the empty jar to remind you who the kingdom's greatest pickled egg eater is. Come oh, on, five more minutes. All I need are the right ingredients, and this waterbed will be rock hard. If you're here for the chocolate mud pies, I'm sorry, but they're delayed. See, I don't have any flour to bake with, and I can't leave. Why can't you leave? That seagull, he's terrified. And he won't leave and I'm too scared to go near him. I'm being held captive in my own bakery. Feel free to help yourself to a day old donut while you wait for the pies. Why, thank you. Hands off my gravel. It's for the pies. You use gravel in your mud pies? Yes. I like my mud to have an authentic crunch. That seagull looks hungry. Step right up! Cast your gaze on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing machine! It juices, it cries, Yet another seagull it on the lookout for tasty squashes, treats. It squashes, it bashes, it crashes! The Juicesaurus is the finest, most powerful juicer on the market today! Just watch how it turns this common lemon into a delicious glass of fresh lemonade! You, sir, tell me this isn't the best glass of lemonade you've ever tasted! Ah, oh, refreshing! Yes, folks, it's the most amazing, fantabulous juicer on the market! It can juice virtually anything! I challenge anyone to find me an item that the Juicesaurus won't devour! Step right up! 
last two days on this amazing I see you eyeing my lines. Don't even think it about touching it them. It squishes, it squashes, it... I wonder if our neighbor knows the mushrooms he's planted are poisonous. Oh well, maybe one will come in handy. Remus broke the wall testing his idea for a giant fly swatter. One of these stone bricks might be useful. Hopefully after hearing our ballad, people will associate our sign with heroism and high caliber pest control, instead of property damage and hefty repair bills. Our house is locked. Besides, I know everything that's in there, and none of it is going to help me with this recipe. Are you almost done? Sal is a real slave driver. Hey, long hair. Less talk, more rock. Hurry, Liam, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Did you just murder that seagull? Oh, great. And once the other birds find out, they can hunt me down and pick out my eyes. And I really can't leave the bakery. These pies are never gonna get made. on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing machine. Phil, is that you? <laughs> he was so young. I knew he had a problem with overeating, but I never thought it would come to this. Oh, sorry for your loss. Is there anything I can do? Could you help me with a little memorial headstone for him? You'll need to gather some rocks. It's the least I can do. Step right up. Cast your gaze on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing machine. It juices, it grinds, it dices it. You crafty little bear, you did it. And I am a man of my word, so take the best meat in the house. But it's infested with flies. Yes, that's what makes it the best. Is that a fly I see? What? Where? Ah, get away, you filthy vermin! No! That pot took me a full day to make. It was true perfection. Now I'm going to have to take another pottery class and make a new one. Ah! <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. My. on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing machine. It juices, it grinds, it dices, it squishes, it squashes, it bashes, it crashes, it mashes and dashes, it mixes, it fixes, it needs, it pleads, it bleeds. It's down on its knees asking you to buy it. You won't see a finer contraption in all the land. How long do you spend each day manually crushing oranges into juice? 10? 20 hours? Well, not anymore. With this... A lime. It's like a lemon, only green. When it comes to juicing, the Juicesaurus is colorblind. Ugh, sour. I guarantee it, folks. Sour never tasted so sweet. Step right up. 
best to gaze on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing machine. It juices, it grinds, it dices, it squishes, it squashes. That's perfect. Now I can torture them from the comfort of my own home. Here, take my magnifying glass. I don't need it anymore. Ah, oh, just great. Well, if I have any hope of getting a new rope from Ty, I better go get in line now. Mill. I just cleaned it. I better not catch you putting your dirty fingerprints all over it. The trot is now full of finely ground lime. Hands off the mill. I just cleaned it. I better not catch you putting your dirty... Uh-oh. I think I broke it. Oh, no! My millstone! If I don't get that fixed immediately, the mill will be covered in cobwebs in no time! Well, watch my wheat for me, will ya? I gotta get some new parts. Step right up! Cast your gaze on this amazing Juicesaurus juicing... Hmm, I've never tried juicing wheat before. But the Juicesaurus never backs down from a challenge. Look at that! A perfectly ground cup of flour! The Juicesaurus is truly a revolutionary machine! Alright folks, I'll be back in 15. I need to give this juicer a thorough cleaning. <laughs> I'm saved. Bless you, kind bear. Ah, nothing like the smell of fresh pies. Couldn't have done it without you. Here, take one. It's on the house. It's the least I can do. Mmm, thank you. Well, that's one way to get gravel. It's full of finely ground limestone. Perfect. Now go use it before Sal notices. I wonder where all those bed bugs will go. Not to worry, Liam. They'll find their way back to the swamp. Just as after we get drunk on Celebration Grog, we'll find our way back to our beds. Thank you. That was the Ballad of Remus and the Giant Horsefly. Great Ballad, Remus. It's a shame no one else heard it. What? Looks like the bed bugs decided to stay here instead of making the long trek back to the swamps. Now they've infested every bed in town and no one is getting a wink of sleep. Well, except for me, of course. A rock hard mattress is just what my aching back needed. Thanks again, Remus. Uh. An exterminator's work is never done.
Well, it needs to be said, so I'm just going to say it. This is a great opportunity for us. You see, Liam, when life gives you lemons, you double your rate and squeeze. Actually, Remus, according to Section 8 of the Exterminator's Honesty Act, these bedbugs should have been dealt with at Grappa's. So, technically, we're still on the hook to get rid of them all. What? We can't afford to treat every single house in town for free. We spent the last of our money on bed rope. No, Liam. Desperate times call for rash decisions. We have to subcontract this job. Subcontract? But to who? Fire ants? That's your solution? It's the perfect plan. Fire ants love to eat bed bugs, and considering how rarely they get to dine on them, they should jump at the chance for such a buffet of delicacies. But fire ants have the strength of 100 men, matched with the temper of 100 angry women. Yes, but they also have the persistence of 1,000 door-to-door salesmen. They're guaranteed to get the job done. I think you could be stirring up a whole lot of trouble. Liam, you worry too much. This plan is brilliant. Excuse me, lowly guard. We need to see your queen. Ah, uh, Remus. But of course. Just step over here and let me rip out your eyes. I'll gladly deliver those to the queen. Ah, you jest. But seriously, I have a tasty proposition for her. I'm sure she'll love to dine on your man flesh. Just step over here so I can disembowel you first. Ah, okay. I see what you're doing. You're turning all my polite requests into clever retorts. Well, you're just a big jerk, so let me in. The only way you're getting in here is through me, so you better come strong. Liam, you're good at math. What do you think the odds are of me getting past him with all my limbs still intact? Well, if you take the time of day and the wind factor into account, the chance of success is still exactly zero. Plan B it is, then. Much like me, the sodium fiend finds the taste of salt irresistible. A soya sauce plant. Its shell has been cracked and its nectar is pouring out everywhere. Yuck! That stuff is like drinking liquid salt. I know, and that greedy sodium fiend is going to eat it all on us. A burning bush. These things produce the hottest sauce on the planet. I heard one drop is hot enough to burn down an entire house. Sounds delicious. Let's take a sample. Much like me, the bark from the corrugated metal tree. Watch out. On a sunny day, these trees get scorchingly hot to touch. The egg won't budge. It's completely crusted into the nest of dried relish. These plants are literally the salt of the earth. It may be little now, but someday this breakfast tree will be producing deliciously fried eggs and bacon for all of nature's creatures. Only one egg left. I guess we'll have to split it. Prepare yourself for the best breakfast you'll ever have, Liam. Ah, the sweet smell of frying bacon. I hope you're hungry. Uh, never mind. What is that? A noser pillar. Their actual body never leaves its birthplace, but its nose can travel vast distances to find food. Its snout has enough suction to de-hair a woolly mammoth, so keep your distance. It may be little now, but someday this breakfast... Heads up, Liam, it's bacon o'clock! Hmm, 
I guess it's only the scent of cooked bacon that drives the noser pillar wild. Dare to resist the lure of a thinly sliced slab of raw bacon. Maybe if it was cooked, you'd stand a chance. But raw bacon has no power over me. That should get us across. Now we just need a way past that horrible ant. Wow, that metal is white hot. You could fry an egg on that thing. Yeah, among other things. Who wants some fried bacon? <laughs> Are you trying to smoke me out? I love the smell of bacon. Your plan has backfired. Ha ha! Oh no! Remus, what have you done? Ah, Bacon, you never fail to disappoint. What human dare set foot in the Queen's royal chamber? Oh, hi, Queen. Sorry for barging in unannounced, but your doorman was a real jerk. Remus, the exterminator, and his precious purple bear. So we meet again. Listen, I've learned to let go, and I think you should too. That last encounter, I think we just got off on the wrong foot. You murdered my husband. Well, yes, but he showed up at that picnic uninvited. And let's be honest here, it's not like you have a shortage of men to choose from. Kill him. Whoa, listen, I have a sweet proposition. A buffet of royal magnitude. I have enough food to last seven winters. I have no interest in your crumbs. Guards! Yes, but do you have bed bugs? Bed bugs, you say? My town is overrun with them. They're practically spilling out into the streets. And they're yours, as long as you go now and eat them all by the end of the day. Impossible! That would take the entire Fire Ant army, and they're already scheduled for a mission. Aw, oh, come on. You can't seriously be passing up this meal of the century. I have a compromise. I will send my army in to rid your town of its bedbugs if you do something for me in return. That depends. Will you be gone from my town by the time I get back? I promise. You'll never see me or my ants ever again. Well, this looks like the place. Now let's mark it with the scent of the queen so we can get out of here. Uh, are you sure we should be doing that? This is a termite mound, and ants and termites are sworn enemies. We claim this territory for the queen. They rid our town of bed bugs. It's just that easy, Liam. Besides, she said it was abandoned. And believe me, she wouldn't lie to an exterminator. She lied to an exterminator? All right, you trespassing ants. Who sent you? Uh, we're over here, and, uh, we're not ants. We don't want to hear your lies. Guards! We're over here. Of course, I know that. Uh, now grab them! Wait, wrong way. They're over there. Actually, we're right here. What is wrong with these guys? Termites. They're blind as bats. We may be blind, but I can see that you're up to no good. Guards, put them in separate cells until we have time to fully interrogate them. You guys are just lucky you came here in the middle of a party. Otherwise, you'd be the blind ones from being dead. <laughs> your jokes are worse than your eyesight. That does it. Get them out of my scent area. I wish Liam would hurry up and get us out of here. Sounds hollow inside, but it's too hard to break through with just my fist. It's locked tight. I can see a scary looking soldier just on the other side. I don't think escaping that way is an option. It won't budge. It must be stuck on something. I better watch myself. This thing is razor sharp. Ugh, 
Ah, I can't budge it. It's pinned under that rock. Ah. Well, that made it worse. Ah, I can't budge it. It won't budge. It must be stuck on some. Sounds hollow inside, but it's too hard to break through with just my fist. Are you alright down there? No! I'm being held hostage! I've been trying to tunnel out, but the termites feel the drafty air and they keep plugging up the hole! Is there anything I can do to help? I used to have a poster until the termites shredded it. If you could find all the pieces and put it back together, that would be all the cover I need to make my escape! Okay, I'll see what I can do. I can feel the temperature rising already. Brr, that really lets in a cold draft. That one almost looks like a ladder. If only I could find a way to reach it. He must be responsible for keeping the temperature in here. A dramatic shift can spell certain doom for the entire mound. Remus, are you okay? Besides enduring the smell of damp mold, I'm fine. Do you need anything? If you have anything that can help me out of here, I'll gladly take it. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. Perfect, thanks. Now I'm ready for a jailbreak. I can see a garden of tiny pillows below. Should make for a soft landing. Oh, I'm covered in fungus slime. It's a disgusting garden of white fungus. A super glue plant. I better not touch it. One drop can fuse just about anything together. It's full of smoldering coals. Hey, what? Who's there? Are you the new waiter? Um, no. Yes. Maybe. Well, you certainly smell like a waiter. The stench of fungus is all over you. Listen, we need help serving the party guests in there, so grab a tray and start handing out appetizers. Party? What are you, new? It's the Queen's Daily Baby Shower. We're on baby 13,483, and from what I hear, she's going to deliver at least 35,000 a day. So get hopping. There's a whole room full of hungry termites in there. Oh, I can't budge it. I'd have to be a termite to get this thing loose.
I can feel the temperature rising already. His job is to plug and unplug holes in the wall. Wow, and I thought my work had some dull moments. There's the queen. If I can get to her, I can probably cause a distraction to give Liam enough time to escape. Hey, uh, have you seen the waiter? I'm dying to try some more of those appetizers. The queen! If I can get to her, I can probably cause a distraction to give Liam enough time to escape. Where do you think you're going? Hi, I need to see the Queen. The Queen is in the middle of opening up her gifts. Unless you have food for her, you aren't going anywhere. The rock is... Try getting that out now. I better find a good use for this. I don't want to carry dead flies around for no reason. The extreme humidity in here causes stalactites to rapidly increase in size. I think I can reach it now. If I try to move from here, that soldier will hear me. And those giant jaws don't look like they'll give me a chance to explain. Looks like some sort of chimney. I could have sworn I heard Remus's voice down there. Smell, but don't touch. Those are for the guests. I'm sure it would prefer cremation over burial. I'm out of options. Until Remus creates a diversion, all I can do is wait. Mmm, the coals have cooked it to a juicy medium rare. Whoa, this is a big one. Did you pick this up from the garden? It's a real juicy one. Ooh, appetizers. Ugh. Is this meat? Ugh, I think I'll pass and wait for the vegetarian one to come around again. All right, I have a tasty tray of appetizers here for the queen. Continue on. Hello, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Hello, up, up here. Yes, over here. No, here, here. Okay, you got it. I just wanted to have a toast to the queen and her loving husband and their massive brood of babies. But I couldn't live with myself if I didn't come clean about something. The last 14,000 babies... They were mine. What? Woman, you cheating on me? Who are you? Guards, get this man! Wait, wait, I can prove it. I have the results of the paternity test right here. Hold on, let me just find them. He's an imposter! Somebody grab him! Hold on, I want to see the results first. Okay, one second here. Just gotta find where I put them. Okay, Liam, now's your chance to find us a way out of here. We'll have the results of the Queen's paternity test coming up shortly. Oh, snap, I don't want to miss this. If there's one thing Remus is skilled at, it's causing a huge commotion. I did it! Now I just need to find a way to save Remus. Hmm, seems like temperature change is the key. If I can find a way to clog up their vents, the humidity will knock them all out. If 
funnel plants are completely hollow inside. Sometimes people use them to collect rainwater. The mound is full of tiny air vents. If I can clog those up, Remus can make his escape. Funnel plants are completely... Funnel plants are... These flowers have revolving magnetic heads. A metal shelled chestnut. I better not touch it. Those spikes are pretty sharp. Success! Is it just me, or is it getting hot in here? What's the matter? The guild getting to you? Actually, yes, it's getting hot in here. Okay, who's been playing with the thermostat? <sighs> oh! <laughs> Liam, you are a genius! I can't believe the Queen set us up! She lied about that? What else did she lie about? Anyone can fix this, it's you, Remus. You're a master exterminator. I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but it's over. Fire ants are impossible to get rid of. We should probably gather what's left of our stuff and move. I hear Danricus is lovely this time of year. Would your brother Remus quit in the face of danger? Whoa, now, you don't have to bring that guy into it. Don't you see? This is your time to shine. To have people sing your name. To step out of the shadows, so when people ask who Remus is, they'll boldly shout, The brother of Remus, the greatest exterminator in all of Fredericus! And for once, that won't be because you're the only one! Liam, let's burn these fire ants! So, what's the plan? Well, um, I don't know. It's too bad the ants weren't just a little smaller. Then we could just use a magnifying glass to burn them all up. That's genius, Remus! It is? Dr. Nova's telescope. Its massive lens could act just like a magnifying glass and direct a beam of burning sunlight down onto the ants. If only we could get them all in one place. Leave that to me, Liam. No one causes a commotion like Remus. If you can get to the telescope, I'll rally those ants. This is why I never buy vegetables. They always go rotten before I get a chance to eat them. Liam likes to start every day with a fresh picked flower. It really brightens up the place, despite playing havoc with my hay fever. The complaint box. It's brimming over with action. As they say, there's no such thing as bad press. Another postcard from my idiot brother, Remus. Remus, having an amazing time here in sunny Braggart Beach. The locals are treating me like a king. I'll tell you all about it the next time I see you. Until then, have fun with your bug-swishing thing. Oodles of love, Remus. Ah, even the mention of his name makes me angry. My old insect pheromone kit. Here's the instruction manual. It says, use pheromones provided to create emotional reactions in bugs. Looks like most of the pheromones are missing or empty. The only one still intact is distress.
Hmm, if I can find a way to recreate the emotional essence in each of these bottles, maybe I can use them to battle the ants. These are all Liam's books. I've never read them. The first bug I ever exterminated. The taxidermy cost more than the job paid, but it was worth it. He captured the look of terror perfectly. You can almost smell the fear. Leftover from our last big barbecue. This is my sweepstakes entry form. I sent away for a lifetime supply of jam. I should hear if I won any day now. I can hardly wait. The anticipation is killing me. Maybe I'll hold on to it for good luck. A nap would be great about now. But alas, adventure never sleeps. I'm saving this last piece of toast for when I eventually win my lifetime supply of jam. Really, if I just let Liam sleep on the bottom bunk, we wouldn't even need this ladder. Ah, Liam, my oldest and most loyal friend. There's no one I trust more than you. Finnegan, my childhood teddy. That's where you've been hiding. Oh, we had such great adventures together. Seeing you fills me with such joy. Come, join me on this epic quest. This shipping label says there's one of those amazing Juicesaurus juicers inside. I still kick myself that we didn't buy one when we had the chance. Hmm, there's no way I'm going to muscle my way past them. I'll have to get creative. My best way past these ants is to play with their emotions. Damp rotting vegetables. Well, I guess you never know what will come in handy. This journey needs a little cheer. Come here, flower. Yuck! Leftover toast from breakfast. Mmm! This ladder might come in handy. This is no time for sleeping! I'll just take a quick peek inside. Wow, a Juicesaurus juicer! Mmm, it smells like pure joy. The sweet smell of trust. I can smell the anticipation. I can smell the fear. It smells like pure anger. My best way past these ants is to play with their emotions. Ha! Huh, it works! If I can manipulate their emotions, I should be able to stir up some ant drama and clear myself a path. He seems overcome with joy. I think he's in love. He's brimming with anger. Now he's boiling with aggression. Fear has taken hold of him. Wow, that's really made him submissive. Hey, perk up. We're on duty here, and you look like you're about to cry. 
Stop acting like a sniveling earthworm and show some backbone. Sorry, you're, you're right. I'll, I'll do better. Hey, nobody talks to the love of my life that way. You, you love me? Ever since the day I first set eyes on you at Tunnel Building College. What? I thought that you loved me. Uh, that does it. Put up your dukes. Nobody messes with my relationships. I, I really don't want to fight. It, it's okay. You win. I don't want any part of this. Don't worry. I'll defend you, my love. I'm going to rip you limb from limb. All right, now that that drama is over with, it's time to stir up even more. Just a drop of this distress pheromone and every ant in town will be running to the rescue. Oh boy, it worked. I hope you're ready, Liam. It looks like a metal sculpture of our solar system. The planets are securely bolted to the door, but the crescent moon seems a bit loose. Yeah, this candle has seen better days. Hey, there's a secret path. Hey, how'd you get back here? Are you here for my honey? Well, you can forget it. I've sworn a secret oath to the hive to protect the royal jelly with my life, so you better not touch anything! Consider yourself warned! Whoa, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? What? You want a piece of me? Keep your hands off the merchandise unless you want to be impaled on my stinger. Understood. An assortment of beeswax candles, long burning with a wonderful honey fragrance. Any chance I could get into the basement? I promise not to touch any honey. Ha! That's what they all say. And then suddenly your fingers are sticky, your face is covered in honey, and you're bouncing off the walls on a sugar high! No! I have sworn a secret oath! No one will get near the honey! Whoa! Okay, I'm calm. That was a close one. I almost blew my stinger. Is that toast? I say toast! If I see one more person put our precious honey on toast, they will taste the wrath of my stinger! And that is a promise! Whoa! Okay, easy now. That was close. How's about you just keep your toast out of my sight? The last thing I want to do is freak out and blow my stinger over nothing. I'm sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. Here, take this pollen-filled flower as a token of my apology. Well, that's very kind of you. I have to admit, I do love pollen. Maybe I'll have just a little nibble. <laughs> Whoa, whoa now, wait a sec. Is that... No. No! No! It can't be! Our precious honey! The honey I've sworn to protect with my life! On a raggedy piece of all great toast! How dare you insult me! The queen! The hard work of the hive! By spreading our wondrous, precious honey! On toast! <laughs> Actually, it's just a bit of wax on toast. I'm really sorry for the confusion. It's, uh, what now? Oh, no. I've blown my stinger over nothing! I'll be the laughing stock of the entire hive! Without my stinger, my...
my career is over. <sighs> Guess I better go face the music. Could juice the rotten vegetables into pure vegetable oil. Amazing! Yeah, this should. Psst. I need your help. Hey, how'd you get in here? Listen, I stole the honeycomb, and now the bee is after me. I broke it and stashed the pieces all over. If you can help me find it, I'll give you some. Well, it would be nice to have some honey for our toast. Okay, I'll do it. It's now covered in the sticky honey he was sworn to protect. Oh no, I broke it! This must be used to aim the giant telescope. Hmm. I don't see any place to look through, though. It's the operating manual for the telescope. It says, pull lever to activate the periscope. Use the periscope to aim the telescope. To access the telescope lens, unscrew the safety latch. And it's firmly shut with no handles. It must open another way. That loosened it up. That giant bolt is holding the safety latch shut. Hey, you guys again! Looks like you have your nest all fixed up. Yes, but something isn't right. I followed the blueprint like, but I think I missed a few things. Could you look into it and see if you can spot the differences? Sure. The bolt is too big for this little wrench. Perfect! This must be used to aim the giant telescope. Hmm, I don't see any place to look through though. There's only one bolt that isn't rusted into place. The door is still locked. That worked! Wow, a burning beam of sunlight is now shining down directly into the town square. Looks like all the ants are in place. Time to use the periscope to wipe them out.
Remus, what have you done? I'm sorry, everyone. I blew it. I was so excited to show you the Ballad of Remus and the Horsefly that I inadvertently ruined everything. You certainly did. My tent is burnt to a crisp. I guess listening to my ballad is out of the question now. Yes! Well, Liam, we almost did it. We finally had a ballad that people could get behind, and we burned it all down in a blaze of glory. Wait a second. You're not getting off that easy. You owe us an explanation. Well, it all started when we traveled to the Apnea Swamps. Wait, what? You traveled to the Apnea Swamps? No one has ever been there and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, you're telling me. I barely survived the Swamp Witch. Swamp Witch? Wait, wait. I think I need a drink for this. Let's finish this story at the pub. Uh, well, okay, I guess. Wait a minute. Do you see what's happening? Yes. Everyone wants to drown their sorrows in alcohol. No! They want to hear the story of Remus and the Fire Ants. Boy, that would have made a great ballad title. Wait, you're right. That is a ballad title. Ours! I'll get my loot. And that was the ballad of Remus and the Fire Ants. I don't believe it. They love me. I never doubted it. But how does it end? End? What do you mean? The Queen of the Fire Ants. You aren't just going to let her get away with that, are you? Um, well, no. Of course not. Not an exterminator of my caliber. Liam, grab your loot. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs>